In this video, we're going to be going the same route that we did with our interaction by making it go to our crosshair. Now we're going to get started on making our actual shots aim towards where we're aiming via the crosshair. So currently, when we shoot, as you can see, it's completely based off of the weapon's muzzle location and rotation as to where the line trace goes. What we want is it to go towards our crosshair. That's also going to require us to have a small change. So in our animation blueprint, we're going to make it look, make the guy look a little bit to our right by adjusting the yaw a bit. So we can do that. Go ahead and open up our animation blueprint. Go to our animation graph. Uh, the little node that, that little thing in the center between the, def the state machine and the output post, go ahead and delete that. But inside of our state machine, if we go to our weapon aiming, you will see our yaw and how that affects our pitch, I mean not our pitch, our uh, rotation like we did for our crouching. So our crouching, we incremented it by 65 because we wanted the character to turn left to where it looks more natural like he's aiming straight because I do not have any good animations to really be working with and I haven't bothered to make any. But as far as our yaw goes, we want to make it in general be a little bit more facing right. So we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lower it by about negative 10. And now when I pick up the weapon and aim, our character should be looking more to the right, so it looks a little bit more correct. So as you can see, our line traces are floating around a little bit more left and right to this, well, a little closer to center with the uh, crosshair. And it looks like he's aiming a little bit more towards the center as well. So now we can go ahead and start coding it up. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with our interaction. So I'm going to copy our camera start, camera end, and our impact point, and head down here to our attack function, which is on line 545. So I want to paste them in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the end point. Well, we're not going to actually calculate the end point here. We're going to do that in the... Um, the weapon base. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in our impact point as a parameter to fire. We're going to replace that impact point in getting our look at rotation accordingly and that's going to kind of dictate it. So we can go ahead and change out our fire function to take an F vector. So impact point is going to be our parameter name and pass it in. Now for weapon fire, we need to pass in impact point, and now we are good to go. I'm not going to make this, in this video, we're not going to have it affect how the server handles everything, because we're going to do that on the server again anyways, uh, in the next, probably the next video, as well as we're going to be getting rid of our shot check. We're going to just flat out remove it, and then we're going to end up rewriting it later in the future, because I am not happy with this at all. Okay, so now we're passing in our impact point to our fire function. We need to include the Kismet Math Library, which, yeah, we have not. So I'm going to go up here. It's under Kismet, Kismet Math Library. Include that. And now we can get our lookout rotation. So end location is going to be our start location plus our, we're going to get our look at rotation, so you kismet math library, look at rotation. It's going to be start, location, and impact point. And we're going to convert that to a vector. Now that's going to make their end location, well it's pretty much going to be the angle of our, where our impact location is supposed to be. So now we can go ahead and compile and make sure that the line trace is going as it's supposed to. Once it just once it's compiled, come on. There we go. All right, let's give it a try and see if the shots actually go to our crosshair.
All right, that went to the world center. And that is due to Ah, because my camera start. So we're only going 500 centimeters out. We wanted to go ahead and just change that a bit. So for now, we're just going to use the weapon distance. So that's 3,500. Let's do 3,500 and compile. And now we should go right. Because if you saw before, it was going to the world origin, which is at just an empty vector at all zeros for x, y, and z. So now it should be traced out. Right. Yep, there you go. Now you can see it is going right to our crosshair. And we will want to adjust a couple of things in the future, such as, because you can see the shot's kind of going down, like it's not, like he looks like he's aiming higher than the crosshair is. A uh, simple way we can actually just go ahead and quote unquote fix that for now is to simply take our camera, raise that, we're going to go to 70. As you can see, it looks a little bit more natural. But you can see we're very precise with where we're aiming. It's exactly to our crosshair. So that's how we can make our shots go towards our crosshair. Uh, I might end up doing a separate video on this, just like I said I was going to do with my aim offsets. But pretty much all we did is when we go to attack, we get our camera start location, like pretty much where our camera is, and then we shoot a line trace straight out of that camera that ends up going for 3,500 centimeters. And we use the impact point of that line trace as the kind of direction we want the weapon shot to go, if that makes sense. So for example, the, I'm being blind. When we create our line trace for our weapon, what we're doing is we're, setting, we're starting at the muzzle location and we're getting the look at location, or the look at location for our end location. So like I described in the interaction video, let's say, me and you are on a level together. I'm at, eh, just say I'm standing, looking straight at a wall, and you're to the right of me. If I pass in my location and your location into the find look at rotation function, it's going to return the rotation that I need to set myself to to be looking at you. That's all this is doing. So it's pretty much giving us the rotation we need to hit wherever the impact point was. So that's something we can also do to really, when it comes down to playing effects and that kind of thing, such as bullet impacts and all that. So that's pretty much it, I think, for this video. And the next one, we're going to go about making this work on the server, or we might actually just clean this up a bit and do some more stuff to it, such as correcting well, our vertical look up and down to correspond with where we're looking and aiming. So when we get to that, I will see you in that one.